Hello everyone, my name is Christian Nicolescu. You know me for a lot of automation with UiPad. I did a lot of stuff with also with ChatGPT on the last part. But today we'll talk about... Um, so in the past, we talk about how the uh, orchestrator uh, is able to communicate with um, Slack or uh, Microsoft Teams via uh, webhooks. Yeah. So when something is wrong on the orchestrator, uh, um, so you iPad send text message very fast uh, with ChatGPT. So orchestrator, uh, webhooks create uh, incident in service now and so on. So we will... Um, uh, explain again this stuff, but now inside of your iPad, as you see on the last videos, we have the technology of webhook. So inside of our new iPad process, we have the technology of the webhook. So basically, um, uh, if we have this webhook inside of the process, uh, we can connect the orchestrator way to to work with the uh, webhooks to a new iPad process directly, and this one can send message to Microsoft Teams. So let's understand what's the idea. So the idea is like this. <coughs> In the um, UiPath Orchestrator, um, if you go to automation, to jobs, when you'll have a job that is um, uh, failed, so you have a job that is failed or something like this, you want to be uh, um, uh, to get a notification on, on Microsoft Teams, for example, yeah? When the job is failed. And I showed this on, uh, on the video doing with Power Automate or doing with uh, um, other middle layer. Today, we don't need this middle layer because we have this, um, uh, inside of UiPath, we have this webhook uh, capability. So basically, we create a process on UiPath Studio Web, and we have the webhook event. After we have the webhook event, we'll have the connection to Microsoft Teams. And on Microsoft Teams, we'll say that I want to uh, um, to write this message on a channel on a Team Robot General. Yeah, and I have this message where I will say, um, open expression. Uh, I will say that op orchestrator crash, and uh, this is the process name, and this is the... Um, robot name and this is the expression i will show you exactly from json how how I extract this one and i can this, this give also an uh, um, individual message for example i will write to mircha at uipad.com that uh, uh, the same process crash yeah so let's say teams teams uh microsoft team Why it's so uh, ups? Okay, Microsoft Teams. And here I have the uh, the messages. So basically, he will uh, will be able to write on the team, and he will be able also to write on the chat. Good. What we have to do in the inside of the orchestrator? Inside of the orchestrator, we have the jobs, and we have to go here on a tenant. On the tenant, we'll go to webhooks. And on the webhook, I already have the webhook created. I will create a new one, but I will not enable it, okay? So I will put the name, uh, test uh, YouTube Teams, yeah, description. Send the uh, data to Teams when something fail. Okay, URL. I will put the URL from here, from the um, from this one. So I'll go to this one. I will say copy address, and I will put the URL. I will disable the SSL verification and so on. And here, I will uh, uh, I will select the events. So in my case, if I will let all the events and so on, I can create a huge loop, which is not fun. So I will say, if a job is failed, or if a job is stopped, or suspended, this will uh, um, this will send data to me, yeah? And hit save, and in this way, orchestrator will send data to the webhook. Let's delete this one. And let's the other, let the other one. And let's understand what is coming on JSON. So on JSON, uh, uh, orchestrator send this stuff. Yeah. 
So you have the type, you have the ID, you have the job, and so on. So uh, to be able to uh, um, uh, uh, to tell the the person what happened, what I will communicate, I will communicate the um, um, the robot name, the the robot name. I will communicate the process name here. And I will communicate the information. And I think it's better to communicate also the type. If it was full, suspended, uh, stopped, and so on, yeah? So let's put also that type on the uh, uh, on the code. So on the code here, I have uh, this thing. And let's see. Let's add. Uh, um, so the process, ah, I crashed. Uh, process name, uh, robot name, OK. And... Uh, Error, uh, here I will say um, error type. And here after this error type, I will put, uh, um, let's see what I have there. Let's see. Uh, so it was the type, yeah? So I have to put the type. Job fault. Okay, so in this way, I, I will display also the error type. Let's put this error type also on the other... Um, because here I display it on the uh, um, on the general channel, and here I display it when I um, uh, error. Okay. Now then let's say here error type. Good. So let's hit this one. Let's hit publish. Uh, with type with type and in this way my process will be published to the orchestrator to the uh, uh, not the robots my space go to my space uh, I have my process here job error with with the type you see uh, and now I will go here on the jobs and I will start a job that will crash. For example, print JSON, it's doing something with, uh, uh, it's putting something on, on a Google Sheet, yeah? And that Google Sheet uh, uh, is not existing or something like this, yeah? So I'll go to start my process print JSON. Hit start. And I know that, I, I know that this process is crashing, yeah? So I start the process and um, it's, I think, uh, 10, 20 seconds until the process will crash. And automatically, when, when this process is crashing, this will generate, uh, will uh, uh, will put the, uh, the orchestrator to send a webhook. You see, the process is crashing. So orchestrator send a webhook and automatically uh, um, the job error process is starting yeah because the webhook uh, the data from webhook arrived to the job error and the job error was uh, start when uh, when data is coming okay so uh, now the job error execute and job error will put the data on the um, uh, on Microsoft Teams. Yeah, so I will go now on Microsoft Teams, and I have here test general. And on this test general, uh, let's do a refresh here. So a process is crashed on the uh, crashed. Here is the report. Process name print JSON. Um, robot name Christianuepa.com. Blah blah. Uh, um, uh, error type job fault yeah and also this one this message was sent also to mircha if we go here on on chat on this one to mircha you can see a process on the orchestrator road crash so um, the process name uh robot and um, um, error type uh, er error type and here you have the error yeah exactly the error with the uh, same name already exists so basically i write in a google sheet and i have the the same name there so in this way it's very easy 
to communicate from orchestrator to Microsoft Teams, it's something that's happening on Microsoft Teams, on, on, on orchestrator. Now, uh, I communicate, I prefer to communicate errors, uh, uh, but here you can configure what you want inside of the, um, um, you go here on tenants, on webhook. Uh, here you can configure uh, what you want to uh, to be able to to send. You can send all the events, but if you send all the events and you start another process on the on the on this one, you can create a loop, a very uh, loop where you are not able to, to stop it. Yeah. So think about what you want to uh, to be informed on Microsoft Teams about the processes that are running on your orchestrator, and with this way. You are able to uh, to have um, uh, a real um, real time status of uh, your um, processes in the orchestrator. Yeah. As usual, if you like my videos, uh, go to my YouTube web page, uh, um, comment to my videos, and tell me what else you want to see inside of my videos. Thank you very much for watching. Stay safe. Have a good one. Bye bye.